What's going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at how we can turn something like this into something like this. Let's get started. All right, so now that we have the base image and as well as the channel, hopefully, uh, imported into Photoshop, we're going to get started into actually making it pop out. So you can see that I messed up a little bit on the channel in that uh, all the trees are different color, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we, we can work around that. So the first thing we're going to do is just go into uh, the select and because all my trees are different color, we're going to go into the color range selection and I'm just going to get uh, all the trees so that I can actually make it darker. Now we're going to do a simple uh, layer via copy. Oh, go into the select. We're going to do a simple uh, layer via copy here. And we're going to go ahead and turn this down. So oh, not levels. <clears throat> we can use levels as well, but I find that it generates a lot more noise. Uh, so we can actually turn just the brightness of all the trees down to a very suitable levels here. And you can see already that it's, it's going to generate a lot more depth than if, if we did not do that. Now we are going to next just to highlight the area that we want to show. So you can see that in Lumion already made the kind of grass different color. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use a polygon lasso tool to highlight the area that I want to showcase. Now, this doesn't have to be that precise in my case because I'm doing it for a student competition, uh, but you know, just uh, grasp how precise you want the selection to be depending on uh, the purpose that you're doing it for. All right, now that I have my selection, I'm gonna go ahead and select and mask. So we're gonna use the new layer with layer mask, smooth this out, and make sure that the edges aren't too hard. So we're gonna feather this quite a bit. Now I'm gonna switch on the, the background layer. And before we do anything else, uh, I want to basically darken the background layer. So again, we can go in here. Uh, this time I'm going to use the levels just to make everything a little bit darker in the background because we want to highlight the area that we're actually putting our design in. So again, just, just making everything a little bit darker in the background like that. Uh, just a tiny bit. And then in the foreground, we can do the opposite. So we can go in here, either turn up the brightness like that. Yep, that looks good. Um, or we can also go into levels again and then just drag it to the left here just to tone the different tones in the image. Okay, now since this is a afternoon shot and we want kind of the, the sunset colors, uh, we can also just go in here and change the hue and saturation uh, to a little bit of a more of an orange, as you can see. Uh, maybe minus five is a little bit too much. Something like that. We can also use uh, the color balance slides and just find the perfect balance uh, of yellow that we want here. And uh, we, we're gonna want to do the same thing on uh, the bottom layer. So getting it uh, a little bit of a yellow will be good. Okay, that looks uh, a lot better. So now we're gonna go in and select some of the water just because I think it's a little bit too uh, light right now. We're gonna wanna turn down the color a little bit. So go in here, go into the magic wand tool, select the color. Uh, right now it's a little bit too less in terms of tolerance. That's way better. Um, gonna add the ones that I see are missing from my selection. Okay, that looks better. Yep, so we have all the water here. Now you're gonna, you might be able to, you know, get these areas that you don't really want. So we're just go ahead and uh, deselect it, holding Alt and Lasso. All right, uh, now that we have the selection uh, here, we're gonna use the uh, layer via copy once again, move that layer all the way up, and 
and we are going to basically uh, first adjust the color and second if we just hold control and then select the layer uh, we can actually go in here with a brush now this is a really good brush by Arky9 you can find it on the website I'll also link it down in the description uh, it's just the waters uh, I'm gonna use water one and we are going to make this super tiny and we're gonna make it white now we don't want this to be super strong so I'm gonna turn it down to maybe a 60% opacity uh, you never really want this to be a super strong color uh, in your drawing and take away from what you're actually trying to show so Okay, so the waters got a little bit of a highlight to them and they do look a, a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, we might want to add a glow to it if it's uh, the focus of our design, in which case, uh, in, the, in this case, it is. Uh, but we're not gonna go into that right now. Uh, but let's just move into vignetting. So next step we wanna do is basically vignette this uh, drawing so that we're only focusing on the middle here. Now, this is pretty easy to do. Um, all we need is from the same website uh, you can download the Arky9 brush and they have a really good clouds brush as well so what we can do is basically create a new layer here and really just make the brush really big and then we can basically brush in the clouds around the outside like that just very simple uh, brush in the clouds uh, that we want uh, in order to actually cover the Obviously the things that we don't really want to show, like the edge of the drawing there. Um, so yeah, this creates a nice uh, vignette around the whole thing. Now we can also use uh, another layer and basically have a bit of a black vignette. So we're gonna switch over the brush just to a normal soft brush. And we can actually go ahead and vignette the whole thing just to draw a little bit more of attention to the middle here. That looks good, maybe we'll have this underneath the clouds, uh, maybe not. Now you can play around with this, we can also change the blending mode. Uh, I do like to use a soft light sometimes, but uh, this is totally up to you guys. Uh, just basically use whichever one looks best. You can see here that this edge is quite visible. Uh, we want to kind of hide those edges. So you can come in here and, oh, don't want to use the black brush and use the white brush and just basically hide that area all right now that we have the vignettes and the clouds in i have basically used the same steps uh, as the water to basically select all the uh, path as well something that i want to highlight so in this case we are going to do a select a mask just because i want the path to glow a little bit so we can do a new layer with layer mask like that and then I'm just gonna title this path because we're starting to build up a lot of layers and this is going right here and we're just gonna go ahead and make this a little bit brighter like that just so just so the path pop out and if we want to add you know like cool effects to the water or the path we can uh, go in and uh, we can do all these different effects in this case, I think I used the outer glow. Yes, I did. Uh, and then I turned this to, I believe, more of a white color and made this way lower like that, as well as the spread. I don't think the spread is that high. Anyways, just play around with that until you're happy with the result. But uh, I think that looks pretty good. All right, now we're just gonna add a bit of effect to round off the comp uh, composition here. Um, just found this quick god ray kind of thing on um, PNG tree. Now it is white, which is kind of hard to edit in terms of the color because we want to make this a little bit of an orange, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rasterize this, erase the logo here. And just the, the most quick and simple and dirty way to do this, uh, changing a color uh, that is white into something else is just select the, the pixel 
and then we're just gonna paint it with a little bit of an orangish color just like that yeah okay so you can already see that it kind of changed the color and now we can go into you know hue saturation or anything like that in order to change the color but I think this this will work uh, we're gonna go ahead and transform this we're gonna go uh, flip it horizontally because we want the light coming from this side uh, make sure it's positioned where you want it like that and just make sure we get the full effect of it now we can play around with the, the soft light and the hard light I actually do like the hard light version of it uh, quite a lot here so we're gonna keep that as it is now, and again we want to go back to the clouds layer and just sample the color of our ray here and just very gently turn the opacity maybe down a little bit and just very gently brush in a little bit of the color of the ray that we actually have so that makes a lot more sense in the picture on the bottom as well as the top and yeah i would say there you have it basically this is the image that uh, is our final product we can go ahead and uh, you know combine all the layers and then use uh, a bunch more layers to make it look a little bit more uh, enticing but if you guys like this tutorial and would like me to make one on maybe how to do some Lumion or anything like that, let me know. But please do hit subscribe. It helps me a lot. And like the video if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.